Welders, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about cutting out circles, specifically plasma cutting circles. And we're going to use these three things you see right here to make a plasma cut circle jig. You ready? Let's do it. All right, everything we need to make a plasma cutting circle jig is right here. The first thing is one of these plasma cutting roller guides or chariot guides. You need one to fit your particular brand of torch. I recommend you go on eBay and check out Mechanic 416, Mechanic 416, that's George's plasma cutter shop. George will have one of these to fit your, tor your torch. Check him out. We've got a piece of threaded rod. This is quarter 20. And this is a plumb bob. You'll see how this is all going to work together here in a minute. If you do decide to get your, your chariot, chariot cutter or roller guide, whatever you want to call it, tell them I sent you. And uh, George has plans on his website for how to build this. Let's get started. So let's put together our, our plasma cutting jig. The first thing we need to know is the distance from the center of that side hole with the little uh, machine screw in it to the base of that wheel because that's how far up we're going to have to drill on our plumb bob so that everything is horizontal plumb and as uh, they say in Canada, chooches. So I'm just measuring it, measure twice, cut once because if you measure twice and uh, <laughs> If you measure once and cut twice, you might find out it's still too short. This is not coming out where I hoped it would. I was really hoping it would come out somewhere up in that gnarled area, but it's coming out right below it. Well, that makes the drilling a little more challenging, but we'll get it done. All right, drilling. Start with the small bit. Move to a larger bit. Look at that thing wonder. That's that quality, uh, well, drill press from that place, you know, that sells low-cost tools. There's a thicker one. We keep going until we get up to the proper diameter. I'm pecking. This is how you drill in steel. All right. Let's tack on the threaded rod to the nut with the old TIG torch. Once we got a tack, is it steady? Is it steady? Yep. Does it look plumb? I'm using the old Mark 1 Mod 0 eyeball method, also known as the TLAR method. That looks about right. You ain't got to be exact here. We're not working for NASA. We're putting something together to cut circles in our basement. Good enough is good enough. This time we're going to add a little bit of filler metal, just in case. Yeah, I know. The te technique here is horrible. I don't really care. I'm just trying to get some metal on that screw so that everything holds together. All right, now I want to know what's the biggest circle I can cut here. So this will be the radius for those of you who failed uh, fifth grade geometry. That is half the distance from the edge of the circle. Well, half the distance of the circle. It's from the edge to the center of the circle. The diameter would be the entire distance and the circumference would be the distance around the edge. All these can be found with your friend Pi 3.1412 blah 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 blah. Or you can just get a pair of calipers and figure out this is the biggest circle I can cut out of this piece of metal. Next, insert torch into torch guide and tighten torch guide to lower part of torch with supplied Allen head wrench. If you tighten the top part, the torch won't spin in the guide and things will not come out as you expected them to come out and that's why there's video editing folks because when uh well never mind let's move on with our video and a little test there yep everything rotates as it should rotate no problems onward and upward then tally ho all right now i'm setting the distance from the point of the spongebob as my son calls it to the center of the little teeny tiny hole where the hot shit will come out of the plasma torch. That is the official scientific term. Actually, the, the full term would be hot blowy shit. That is where the hot blowy shit will come out of the torch. Everything's set. Okay, one, two, three, put on a couple condoms and let's go do this. 
Yes, I know there's already a hole there. Guess what? I forgot to turn the camera on. So we'll do it the second time. Same as the first, a little bit louder. Hopefully not a whole lot worse. Stick the pointy part of the SpongeBob in the place that you center punched. And it's torch time. Here's a couple of considerations. Uh, the back end of your bar should not come in contact with any obstructions. Because making this cut in uh, one continuous movement is the best possible way to do it. But I had to make a couple of adjustments and it still comes out awfully darn nice if I do say so myself. As long as you keep putting the the pointy bit of the SpongeBob into the uh, the divity bit that you made in the plate, you're going to have the same diameter circle, same radius, blah blah blah. Everything will be just right. I'm just reclipping that. Pay no attention to the right hand. The left hand has no idea what it's going back in the hole. On with the torch and on with the cut. Looks good. Wait a minute. There's a spot I missed. Hit it again. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, let's punch it out then. Let's pop the whole damn thing out. Nope, I still must not be happy with it. All right, try again, right here. Cut through, in the hole, squeeze trigger, pull torch, or push torch, as the case may be. Okay, now we're good. And then all you have to do is pop, oh, well, Oh, no, wait. Hey, genius, that ain't gonna work. Hey, dumbass. Okay, good. Is it better, boss? Yep, that'll work. Thanks, boss. Keep the pointy bit in the hole. And continue our cut to make the perfect lovely circle. Ow! We fell out of the hole. I told you to stay in the hole, dummy. Sorry, boss. Bam! There she is. We've done cut us a circle. So there you go, folks. We have a 7-inch circle. And we got a 6-inch circle. Cut out a quarter-inch monocarbon steel with this simple guide that you can make for your plasma torch. You'll be cutting circles in no time. Thanks for joining me again on Adventures in Welding. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you here next time, all right?